What's up everyone, looking for an honest Google messages versus Samsung messages comparison video. Well today we are going to cover this topic. A pure Android device comes with Google messages, also known as Android messages. And Samsung devices come with Samsung messages, which is limited to Samsung mobiles as the app is not available to download. Google messages can be installed on all Android devices. We will cover the major topics, but if you want specific rounds, then check out the bar on the bottom of the video to find the one you're looking for. On both the apps, you find conversations with a search button and new chat option down the bottom. Swiping on each conversation moves the conversation to archive. You can see the archived chats in the top right menu in Google Messages. Samsung Messages comes with the style of leaving some screen empty for pinned discussions. To pin a discussion, you go to the conversation menu and tap on pin. Contacts section is a unique section which shows you contacts. Both features are missing in Google Messages. Google Messages displays the formatted and spaced phone numbers while Samsung Messages shows the number with the country code and with no spaces. You can see if you are sending an SMS or MMS while sending the message in Google Messages. How do we know when we have unread messages? If a chat is in bold, there are unread messages in Google Messages. While with Samsung messages, you get to see the total number of unread messages on the right hand side of the conversation. As part of the interface, let's cover the dark theme. Both offer the dark theme, but the problem with Samsung messages is, it relies on mobile's night mode to enable the dark theme. We don't have a specific setting to enable the dark theme. Google messages on the other hand, comes with an option to enable and disable the dark theme in the top right menu. So what tools both offer? Samsung Messages supports image, video, audio recordings, contact informations, stickers, emojis, locations and more. Samsung Messages does not support GIFs, files, web searches and smart replies. Google Messages on the other hand does not support notes, scheduling of messages, events, quick responses and subjects in the message. Let's cover some of the top features of this table. Smart Reply is a feature in Google Messages which shows one of the possible responses depending on the last message received. It uses artificial intelligence to predict the most related responses to the message. You also get options to send an emoji or search for GIFs and stickers if it's someone's birthday or some big event is coming up. Message scheduling is a built-in feature in Samsung messaging app. The app lets you schedule a message, but you can't plan a message for a couple of minutes as you need at least 6 minutes or more to schedule a message. Moving on, Samsung messages may not have smart reply, but it offers quick response tool. You can go to the menu of each conversation and send a quick response. You can also add or remove quick responses in the settings menu. Talking about notifications, overall, Google Messages gets this round because it offers more artificial intelligence techniques to deal with messages which contain copyable codes. The app shows a copy button in the notification panel when you receive code in a message. Samsung Messages shows notifications with message details, mark as read and view message options. Both support pop-up notifications on Samsung devices and both are supported on Samsung Galaxy watches. Google Messages also uses Wi-Fi or mobile data to send and receive messages quickly. Let other people know that you have read the text and when you start typing. Another feature of Google Messages is working with Google Duo to send video and audio messages. The buttons are only visible if you have Google Duo installed. To receive those messages, the recipient must have the app installed. Moving to link previewing. Link previewing is a standard feature and both apps support that. Google Messages comes with a few extra options such as filter out the links, download over Wi-Fi, while Samsung Messages only offers to enable or disable this feature. The last part of the internet section is Messages for Web. Messages for Web is another tool of Google Messages. Just like WhatsApp Web, you can scan the barcode and get all the messages on your PC. The web service uses the same settings such as theme, chat settings, etc. Most of the options are synced automatically with the app. Samsung Messages does not offer a built-in web messaging service, 
but with the help of Samsung SiteSync, you can send messages from your PC. Let's cover some of the rare features of both, which might make a difference. Google Messages offers to enable disable the ongoing sound, change user's country, manage group messaging, auto-download MMS, auto-download while roaming, and delivery reports. Samsung Messages comes with options to manage the notifications, quick responses, delivery report, input mode, old messages, and message center. So which one is for you? Regarding the style and look, I prefer Samsung Messages because it uses Samsung's most famous One UI. Still in the end, I like Google Messages because of its robust AI-based code detection, spam protection, smart replies, web searches, and other features. Overall, Google Messages takes this comparison. Alright, here is the end of this video. I hope it helped. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if it helped in any way. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below so we can discuss more. And I will see you in the next video.